Hey guys, this is Lindsay with Mama Schmooze Reviews. Thank you so much for joining my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am a homeschool mom, a newbie, and I have a two-year-old son that'll be three soon, and a four-year-old daughter that will be doing be five in November. So she's gonna be going to kindergarten. And so I wanted to share with you guys what I use for my kids' Bible, like a Bible curriculum, I guess you would call it, and just the collection of stuff that I um, accumulated throughout the year and what has worked for us through um, the 2016, 2017. So I wanted to share that with you guys. So first I wanted to share this Bible. And this is a new book I got, it's called 100 Bible Stories. And this is from illustrations by Tim O'Connor and created by Stefan Elkins. It is really great, it comes with two CDs in the covers and we're actually listening to both of them, one's in the car and one is in the stereo but what I really like about it is that they have the story and then they have the Bible verse and then they have the Bible song and they tell you what page so for instance if we were talking about Father Abraham they would have that Father Abraham song a little passage from the Bible and then they note the scripture on the left hand side but I really like this because you could use this book as a curriculum for your preschooler or kindergartner and have a song along with the the story that you read so I really enjoyed it this was definitely a good investment I think I'm gonna use it a little bit more because we just got it and then I got this blessings every day when we first started homeschooling but the thing I like about it it's so simple and it goes through the days and you read about a scripture and then they give you a little devotion at the end talking about how it applies to your life and then they give you like a little like quote at the bottom or an inspiration and so this was really awesome I talked about this with my friends. Um, their kids are the same age as my kids and they bought this and they really enjoy it. So I like this primary Bible reader from Abeka. It's a really good book. It is for a second grader so this is more of a chapter book Bible reader and uh, this is a great book for like a kindergarten or a first grader. I got this for free at a used curriculum sale so I figured I would grab it because I could use it for the future and I actually read a few stories to my kids and they liked it so this one was a good one this is another one I got from a thrift store it's called the early readers Bible and it's all the New Testament and the thing I really like about this one is that you have these words to know right here and you'll read a little paraphrased part of the Bible and then at the end which I really like they have something to ask. Everyone has something to ask and something to do. So it's very visual and it's a great one for early readers. It says ages four to seven. So we really like this. We've read most of the stories in here and it's really engaging. And this is definitely a good, good book for young readers. This well. one's like our core Bible. And like it says, timeless children's stories, it's, it is timeless. I love the artwork and the simplicity of it. And you could, read through this whole entire thing within probably six months or so. Like we've read through the whole thing within like 14 to like 20 weeks. And it's really, really, really good. We love it. This is one of our favorite books, Bibles. All right, so recently I got my little golden book about God. This is really pretty as well. The illustrations are so nice. And it just shows the beauty in God's world through these beautiful illustrations. And I feel like this is a classic. I got this at a thrift store too, so I really fell in love with it. Now these are a series by Alice Davidson. This one's the story of Easter, the Lord's Prayer, the story of Daniel in the lion's den, prayers and grace, the story of the lost sheep, loaves and fishes, and baby Moses. And I think I have like a few more, like another five upstairs. So my mom got this whole entire series for me. And I really like it a lot because for instance, they will have, they will start off with Allison, it's called Allison Bible Land, and they start off with her in her room, and then what she does is she reads a Bible and she opens it up, and then it says reading is the magic key to where you want to be, and then she goes through a screen, and then she goes straight into the Bible story. And my daughter loves reading this to herself, and well, loves looking through the book and she loves us reading these Bibles together. So this is a really fun one to incorporate in your Bible reading to spice things up a little bit. So I would definitely, if you see these at a thrift store or if you can get them online, I would highly recommend these. These have been one of our favorites as well. 
I also have the Lost Temper by Veggie Tales and Hats Off to Lyle. This one's talking about temper, obviously. And this one, they're all having to do with character qualities and three pirates and a duck. So if you guys are looking for a bilingual Bible, this one's a really great one. And I think we got this from our uncle and it's great because we're trying to learn Spanish. So this is a great one for my husband to read to them. But we really go through this quickly because it's a very short, short read. And my kids absolutely love the pictures in here. They're so pretty. This one is Devotions for Young Readers. I really like it because it comes with a young reader's Bible. And this in itself could be a whole entire Bible curriculum for you for my, I would say about halfway through the year. You might get through this a little bit faster, but there's 52 easy to read devotions in here. So what I like about it, I'll share it with you guys, is that they talk about an issue that your kid might be going through and then they have a verse to learn, a story to read in the Bible. You could use your Bible or the Young Reader Bible and then something to pray about and then something to do. So it's really, really good. It could be take, you could take as long as a few minutes or you could go really deep into this and take a half hour. So this is definitely really good too. We've read a few of the stories and my kids really like it. Now for your toddlers, you could use Look and Tell Bible. This one I got as a birthday gift for my son and it's really nice because it's all illustrated and some of the words are pictures. So that was, this one's a really good book. I have these Bible scripture verses that we do for our memorization and it's like a train and it came with the Hearts of Dakota. When I was doing Hearts of Dakota last year, there was a parent that made these and it's a huge train you put on your wall with all the memorization verses that you use. So if you guys are interested in that, I will hopefully, I could share the link maybe down below or tell you guys about um, where you can get these. But these were a great um, way to memorize scripture and then we listened to Steve Green hide them in your hearts which I'll link down below and this was one of my kids favorites they memorized so many verses this way so I wanted to share that also I got this new book a few months ago and they absolutely love it it's from Rebecca and it's for K4 Bible activity book and the thing I love about it it's so simple it talks about the Bible and then they can color in the pictures with the colors that are outlined in the images and then they have little mazes and they color by you can make this a book and then you can color by number. So there's a lot of things that you could do in here together. My toddler likes it and my four-year-old likes it as well. So this one is definitely a good one, especially if you wanted to do it along with a Bible story that you're reading to them. This is a composition notebook that we are gonna be using for our gratitude journal. We started it, but we need to do it a little bit more, maybe once or twice a week to teach them how to be grateful for things. This is hidden pictures that I was, um, interested in when I first started watching YouTube. I don't remember the lady's name, but she recommended this book and it's really good for pre-K um, kids, maybe three to four year olds. It's maybe a, too easy for a, a five year old, I would say, but they only give you six pictures to look for and some of the pictures are really hard to find and others are really easy. And what I like about it is that they have a verse to read and then they ask you a question about the verse. This is also a really good book from Rebecca. I got it at a consignment sale it's for art projects and they always do things for the seasons. They do Christmas and Easter. They also do, like you can tell things that are not the Bible, they do creation, but I kind of ripped out a lot of pages in here. But they have a lot of things that are seasonal and they give you activities to do August through May. And this is a great way to have the Bible um, come to life with the crafts that they can do. They have finger puppets for Bible. They have Noah's Ark. We did a lot of things in this already, so I would highly recommend this. All right, so on to DVDs that we actually have been listening to and watching throughout the years. Shalom Sesame Street. Um, I don't know if you know by now that I am Jewish, and we like to celebrate the Jewish feast. This is great. I have a few c CDs and DVDs from them that we watch and Shalom Sesame Street is based out of Israel, so they always share all of the biblical feasts. And then this is also another collection of ours that my husband's uncle gives us because he's a part of the 700 Club and he gets these super book. These super books are really fantastic. My kids just started watching them because they were really young when he started giving it to us. So I mean, we have the pile of like 40. And so what I started doing was I started incorporating the um, DVDs along with our Bible stories that we're reading, and it's a great way to make a really easy Bible curriculum. And 
And I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys found some good books that you want to use for your preschooler or kindergartner. So thank you guys so much for watching Mama Schmoo's Reviews. I will see you guys in my next video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Bye.